Shalom to the elect of Yah, Sha'Allah, starting with the 144,000 elect men, 12,000 from each tribe of Yah, Sha'Allah, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Native American Indians, and you Israelite foreigners, you Israelites that scatter among the other nations again. All right, let's, uh, before we start with this lesson, let's give the much do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Racha Kudas, Koloim La, Abanawa, Alahayanawa, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Racha Kudas, all phrases to our Father, our God, Yahweh, in the name Yahweh Shah, in the name the Holy Spirit, the Bohannes to the Apostles and Elders and Bishops of Great Millstone, and much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that's laboring in the works. And shalom to you believers, to the Akim wa Akwa, which will be you brothers and few amount of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. Abarat says that this lesson is edifying and plain upon the tables and straight to the point. All right. I'm your brother Malkaya out here in Pasadena, Texas, 77504 Branch, Low Willing. The lesson is edifying. So today's lesson is going to go into uh, World War III, which is a, a biblical prophecy that will take place at this appointed time. Okay. I'm going to play this video. Shit. Ah, ah, damn, my bad. <laughs> my bad. one video I got so far and then let me get this video that I upload on to Bitchu how uh, I got it from YouTube um, let's play this thing right quick of the military personnel in today's uh, uh, America's army uh, and other branches are not in this type of spirit. They're not in that warlike spirit. They're not bloodthirsty. So all of you Americans, all right, you, you, your soldiers are going to fail you. Okay? And that's why a draft is going to come around the corner too. Because America, they ain't going to have enough bodies. So they're going to have to do a draft men and women that's of fighting age whatever age range that is it could be from 16 17 all the way to like maybe 50 something or whatever our power Yahweh Bashmi Al is going to deem put that spirit onto the wicked elites to start doing that drive all right because majority of you Americans you're not in the spirit your soldiers your marines your 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 your, your seamen and your air force people and etc are not in this type of spirit, all right? They're not in that warlike spirit. They're more concerned about, you know, just, just the whole LGB, LGBTQ thingy. When's going to be the next paycheck? Are they going to get the Hellcat? Just, just folly, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's 
let's get these scriptures out. Let's get these scriptures out. All right. Um, let's start with the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6 to 8 in the King James Version. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So for you believers out there, you know, those who are coming to this truth, and you're hearing a lot about like World War Three and stuff like that, right? You know, just wars, right? Don't be troubled because all these prophecies have to come to pass. But the end is not yet. Why is that? Because for an example, we're still waiting for other prophecies to be fulfilled, like the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, the Haragma. Mentioned in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16 to 17. We're still waiting for that uh, persecution. Uh, the the great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, a violent uprising. We're still waiting for, you know, uh, brothers to be risen up with God-like powers, spiritual powers. Um, to perform miracles and to establish judgment upon whoever is an enemy of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Uh, we're still waiting for other prophecies like, like the uh, like the plagues, right? Second Ezra chapter fifteen verse forty nine, uh, the plagues like widowhood, poverty, famine, pestilence, right? Epidemics, pandemics, lockdowns, chaos in America, right? Civil war, seditious among men, uproars of the people, more earthquakes, more storms and stuff, right? Uh, plague of darkness. Like the, the strange apparitions, like ghostly forms, spirits, specters, uh, monsters, apparitions. So like hideous looking monsters, mutant monsters, mutant you know, creatures that look like it's going through a mutation process. All right. And uh, uh, newly created creatures roaming around. All right. America being invaded. And the list goes on, especially the major prophecy that we're waiting for, the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, the Haragma. Um we're still waiting for these prophecies to come to pass, okay? So don't be troubled, okay? Um, verse 7. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. So while we're hearing of uh, Salakia, verse 8. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is all just the beginning of sorrows. We're hearing a lot more about wars, threats of wars, nation rising against nation. This nation is going to rise against this nation if they haven't yet. Um, while that's taking place, there's going to be famines, right? extreme shortages of your victuals, of your food, resources uh, in many parts of the world, in diverse places. Uh, while that's taking place, there's going to be pestilences. Right, diseases, viruses, deadly diseases, um, epidemics and pandemics in many parts of the world. While there's earthquakes, right, so-called natural disasters and actual earthquakes in many parts of the world. While all of this is going on, this is all just the beginning of sorrows. Okay, uh, we got that energy, that NLT, uh, New Living Translation, and it reads that uh, verse six, and ye. Uh, Slakia, and you will hear of wars and threats of wars, but don't panic. Yes, these things must take place, but but the end won't follow immediately. Nation will go to war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes and in many parts of the world. Now, in the NLT, they left out pestilence. Okay, so there will be pestilence, you know, like diseases, deadly diseases, epidemics, pandemics in many parts of the world. Okay, there will be uh, there will be famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. But all this is only the first of the birth pains with more to come. Okay, this is just the beginning of sorrows with more sorrows to come. All right, um, let's get this. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 14 in the KJV. 
the second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So World War II has passed already. Right? Weren't you taught about World War I, World War II in like history class, social study class, right? All right? That was, those were prophecies that has been fulfilled. So guess what? The third woe cometh quickly. The third woe, right? World War Three is approaching. There will be a World War Three, okay? And America will get involved. America will be attacked as well. And you Americans, okay? Um, let's get this very quick. And then we get the other scripture. And Ross is as, you know, we close out. And it's edifying. Uh, for cool. Wait, I think I spelled that correctly. So I like, hold on. Habakkuk, okay. Two and three. The book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse three in the KJV. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So in today's topic, the lesson is what World War Three, right? Nations actually going to war against nations, right? Um, that third world that cometh quickly, that vision is yet for the appointed time, and no man knoweth but Abba himself, right? Our our, our heavenly Father Yahweh, Abba Nawa Yahweh, he knows the the particular time, okay. And even though it seems like it's slow and coming, wait for it because it's, it's going to it will happen at its appointed time. Um, in the NOT says something like that. Let's see. Okay, yeah, the New Living Translation for the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. This vision, for example, the third world that cometh quickly, right? World War Three. This vision is for a future time, and we're in that time. All right? We believe through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shem Shai that this is the time, the very lifetime that we're in, this very life, where World War Three is going to pop off because we've seen so many signs coming to pass. To show the prophets that this is the time that Yahweh Shmuel Shai is going to visit the world that he made. He's about to bring great, uh, great judgment. Okay. Um, this vision is for a future time. It describes the end, and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. Right, so even though it seems like you know we're always talking about World War Three, World War Three, World War Three, World War Three, sound like a broken record. All right, all right, it may seem slow in coming. Just be patient, wait because it will happen at its appointed time. Okay, just gotta wait and keep watching. Don't get caught lacking. Okay, don't lose patience. Pray to Yahweh Bashmiel Shah for more patience to continue waiting, to continue being vigilant, right, being ready for possible danger. Um, we got a lot of people out here that, that don't believe that, you know, this is going to happen. All right. The biggest, I told you so is about, to, uh, is about to come to earth. The book of Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33 in the King James version. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they two thirds of our nation and the other, and the, and the other nations, right? Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. So the time will come to pass where the world is going to know who are actually the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. Because the prophets of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are going to be in the spirit of prophecy, the spirit, and the spirit uh, of prophesying, which is a testimony of uh, of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Go read Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. and goes into that. That the testimony of Yahweh Shai is what? The spirit of prophecy. Okay. Um, let's get this in the NOT. And we'll close out. Abba um, The New Living Translation for Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 33. And it reads... But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will, 
then they will know a prophet has been among them. So you non-believers out there, those who don't believe that there's going to be a World War III, you're going to finally believe that World War III it was, an, was a prophecy in the Holy Bible this whole time. You're gonna you're gonna finally believe that the those men who you've been seeing on the highways and byways uh declaring the end of America and how a great war is coming, World War Three. You're gonna finally believe that you know the prophets were correct when you find yourself being drafted, men and women being drafted to fight for America. And if you don't get drafted, you're going to believe when you see war taking place on America's soil. Okay? You're going to finally believe when all these terrible things happen to you. You non-believers. You're going to finally believe that, you know, that that there's a famine here. How many people are going to die from starvation. Many people are going to die from pestilences. When all these prophecies come to pass, right? Especially the MOTB. The mark of the beast, the RFID chip, be mandatory to be able to buy and sell, to, to still be part of society. Then people are going to realize, like, damn, these were the prophets all along. Okay? And Abarazaza, we, we are those prophets. All right? Abarazaza. But Abarazaza, the lesson was edifying, playing upon the tables. World War Three will happen. It will happen at a point of time. We just got to keep pa uh, continue to be patient. Just wait and keep watching. And yeah, stay prayed up, okay? So, uh, I'm going to play this video one more time, but we're going to close out. All right. Uh, so, let's close out by giving a much to do all phrases, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone. And much due respect to you, sincere Akim, that is laboring in the works. Shalom to you, believers. To the Akim Wa'akwa, which will be your brothers and few. A lot of sincere sisters who do subscribe to this truth. DTA, Abad, Babal, Soon, Kwam Yashallah.